Hey everyone, and welcome back for another deep dive. Glad to be back. Today we're diving into something that sounds like it's straight out of a sci-fi thriller. Oh. It's um. Yeah. It's the quantum apocalypse. Okay. So imagine like a world where all of your digital secrets are exposed for anyone to see, mm. like your online banking. Yeah. Or like even those embarrassing photos that you thought were like long gone. Oh yeah. All of that is exposed. That's a chilling thought, isn't it? It is. And, you know, this all stems from the potential of quantum computers to just shatter the encryption that protects our digital lives. Yeah. So before we, like, jump into all the chaos, right. uh, can you give us a quick rundown of, like, how we even got to this point? Sure. Be people have been trying to keep secrets forever, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the desire for secrecy is kind of woven into the fabric of human history. Mm. Um you know, for thousands of years, we've relied on all these complex codes and ciphers to protect sensitive information. Yeah. A great example is the Zodiac Killer's Code. Oh, you know, it baffled investigators for over 50 years yeah. before it was finally cracked. Right. But what was once considered unbreakable is now facing like a whole new kind of threat. Yeah. Quantum computers. OK, so let's talk about these quantum computers. Yeah. I know that they're incredibly powerful. Yeah. But I'm still a bit fuzzy on how they actually threaten our encryption. Mm. It all feels a bit like magic to me, honestly. Well, the magic lies in something called superposition. Okay. So imagine a regular computer bit, like a light switch. Okay. It's either on or off, representing a one or a zero. Yeah. Now imagine a quantum bit mm -hmm. or qubit as a dimmer switch. Oh. It can be on, off, or somewhere in between existing in multiple states simultaneously. Wow. This allows quantum computers to perform calculations at just like an unimaginable speed, mm. making them capable of cracking even the most complex encryption algorithms. So it's like they're playing chess on multiple boards at the same time? While our regular computers are still trying to figure out how the pieces even move. That's a great analogy. And yeah. this power was actually demonstrated with Google's project Willow. Okay. This quantum computer cracked a supposedly unbreakable encryption key. Wow. In a mere five minutes. Five minutes. A feat that would take our fastest supercomputers longer than the entire age of the universe. That's mind-blowing. It is. And a little terrifying, to be honest. Yeah. The Thors has mentioned this scenario called uh, Y2Q. Yes. The year when quantum computers effectively break encryption. Right. I always thought that was something way off in the future. Yeah. Like something our grandkids would have to worry about. Right. But Project Willow suggests it's happening a lot sooner than we anticipated. Precisely. This isn't some distant science fiction scenario anymore. Yeah. It's unfolding right now. Mm -hmm. And it has the potential to just upend our world in ways we can barely comprehend. So let's get into the nitty gritty then. Okay. What does a world without encryption actually look like? Yeah. What kind of chaos are we talking about here? Well, imagine this. You're walking through Times Square. All right. And suddenly, instead of like flashy advertisements, yeah. the giant billboards are displaying sensitive medical records what? from a nearby hospital. Okay. Now that's just straight up creepy. Yeah. And what about our financial systems? Yeah. They rely on encryption for practically everything right. Absolutely. Think about the potential for global economic collapse. <sighs> Banks could lose control of their customers' funds, oh, wow. leading to widespread panic and financial ruin. Yeah. ATMs might start malfunctioning, mm. spewing out cash uncontrollably. That sounds like a scene out of a movie. Yeah. It's like a disaster movie, but on a global scale. It is. And it's not just about money either. No. The sources also talk about the potential for hackers to exploit vulnerabilities in critical infrastructure. That's right. Imagine pacemakers and insulin pumps being held hostage. Oh, gosh. By ransomware attacks putting millions of lives at risk. Or autonomous vehicles suddenly going haywire. Yeah. Causing widespread accidents and chaos. Wow. The consequences are truly staggering. It's unsettling to think how vulnerable we actually are. It is. It makes you realize how much we take for granted in this digital world. We really do. Yeah. And here's where it gets even more intriguing. Okay. Some experts believe that the quantum apocalypse might not be entirely accidental. Mm. There are whispers of a deeper conspiracy at play. A conspiracy. Okay, now I'm really hooked. Where someone might be intentionally using this chaos to their advantage. 
Tell me more about that. Well, let's just say that some powerful players might have realized the disruptive potential of quantum computing long before the rest of us, yeah. and they might be using this apparent apocalypse as a cover for something far more sinister. Oh, wow. Yeah. So. It's almost like a global reset button has been pressed, you know? The sources describe scenes of people lining up outside banks, Sorry. desperate to withdraw their savings before they vanish into the digital ether. There's a renewed interest in physical assets. Hmm. Like gold and silver things you can actually hold in your hand. It's like we're suddenly like hurtling back to a pre-digital age. Ah. But without the charm of nostalgia. Right. It makes you wonder, how are people even coping with this sudden shift? Well, it's fascinating to see how like different generations are reacting. Yeah. Some, I... particularly those who remember life before the internet, uh -huh. are adapting surprisingly well. They're dusting off old skills like bookkeeping and letter writing. Oh, wow. Almost with a sense of vindication, you know? Like they were right all along. Exactly. Others, especially those who grew up in the digital world, right. are really struggling to navigate this new reality. It's a stark reminder that technology, for all its benefits, yeah. has also made us incredibly dependent. We really are. But while the rest of us are trying to figure out how to function in this analog world, mm. There are those who are using this chaos to their advantage. That's right. The sources mention intelligence agencies scrambling. Yeah. But not just to, like, protect their own systems. Exactly. They're engaging in what's being called quantum dark operations. Quantum dark operations. It's a clandestine world of espionage where traditional methods, okay. like dead drops, coded messages, and face-to-face -face meetings are making a comeback. So it's like a double game. Yeah. Publicly, they're promoting efforts to develop post-quantum cryptography. Right. Giving the illusion of vulnerability. Uh-huh. But secretly, they're operating on a level that's completely off the grid. Precisely. They're essentially weaponizing the very chaos they helped create. Wow. This raises some troubling questions about the balance of power in this new world. Yeah. Who watches the watchers when they're operating in the shadows using methods that are virtually untraceable. It's a chilling thought, isn't it? It is. It paints a picture of a world where those in power have access to everyone's secrets. Yeah. While the rest of us are left completely exposed. That's right. And at the center of this entire saga is Carl Bishop. Yes. The researcher whose discovery inadvertently triggered the quantum apocalypse. Right. The sources suggest he's under immense pressure to stay silent. Uh-huh. Caught between his conscience and the threat of dire consequences. It's a classic whistleblower scenario, that, but with global stakes, you know? Right. His story highlights the human cost of this so-called apocalypse. Yeah. It's not just about data breaches and collapsing systems. Right. It's about the individuals caught in the crossfire. Yeah. Their lives irrevocably altered. His predicament really forces us to confront a crucial question. Hmm. How do we navigate a world where privacy is increasingly elusive and the lines between truth and manipulation are blurred? It's a question we all need to grapple with, especially as we delve deeper into the implications of a world without secrets. Absolutely. One of the most fascinating points raised in the sources is this. In a world where anyone can crack encryption, the true power might lie in the ability to keep secrets without relying on digital security at all. It's a fascinating paradox, isn't it? It is. In this new reality, traditional methods of secrecy, mm. things like human intelligence, discrete networks, and good old-fashioned deception become incredibly valuable assets. So we're talking about a resurgence of classic espionage techniques. Exactly. Think spies exchanging coded messages in crowded markets. Yeah. Secret societies operating in the shadows, mm -hmm. and information brokers whispering secrets in hushed tones. Precisely. It's a shift in thinking that elevates the importance of human intuition social engineering, and the art of cultivating trust. Mm. In a world where every digital communication is potentially compromised, yeah. a whispered conversation or a subtle gesture yeah. can carry more weight than gigabytes of stolen data. This brings to mind the classic image of a spy slipping a microfilm into a hollowed out book. Oh, yeah. Leaving it on a park bench for another agent to pick up. Yeah. It all feels very cloak and dagger. It does. And just like in those classic spy thrillers, the stakes are incredibly high. They are. The ability to control information, to selectively reveal or withhold secrets, uh -huh. becomes a weapon of immense power in this new landscape. It really does. So we're not just talking about shadowy figures operating in the dark corners of the world. Right. This impacts everyone. From politicians and CEOs yeah. to everyday people trying to protect their personal information. That's right. 
Imagine a world where business negotiations hinge on whispered agreements. Mm. Political campaigns are won through carefully orchestrated leaks. Wow. And even personal relationships are built on a foundation of carefully guarded secrets. Yeah. It's a world where the power dynamics shift dramatically. Like the rules of the game have been completely rewritten. They have. And as we navigate this new reality, we need to be prepared for the unexpected. Absolutely. This isn't just a technological shift. No. It's a fundamental societal and philosophical change. Yeah. The quantum apocalypse forces us to reevaluate our assumptions about privacy, security, and even the nature of trust in a world where the digital curtain has been pulled back. So as we delve deeper into this world without secrets, mm. we need to consider the implications for every aspect of our lives. Yeah. How will we communicate, conduct business, build relationships, and even govern ourselves in a world where digital trust has been shattered? It's a question with no easy answers, yeah. but it's one we can't afford to ignore. Right. The quantum apocalypse is not just a threat. Mm. It's a challenge that demands our attention, our critical thinking, and our willingness to adapt to a world that is rapidly changing before our eyes. It's almost ironic, isn't it? Yeah. In this world where technology has the potential to expose every secret. Right. The most powerful secrets might be the ones kept offline, mm -hmm. hidden from the prying eyes of quantum computers. It's a fascinating inversion of power. It is. Suddenly the ability to cultivate trust, maintain discretion, and communicate through subtle analog means becomes a highly sought after skill. It's like we're going back to a time when a handshake sealed a deal. Yeah. A whispered promise held more weight than a signed contract. Right. And a carefully placed letter could change the course of history. And those skills, once considered relics of a bygone era, yeah. are now more relevant than ever. Hmm. Think about the implications for diplomacy. Yeah. Imagine backroom deals being struck in hushed tones, uh, with no digital record, no trail to follow, right. or sensitive information being passed through clandestine networks of couriers and informants, yeah. relying on human memory and coded messages instead of vulnerable digital channels. It's like we're stepping into the world of classic spy novels, right. where intrigue and deception reign supreme. It's not just about governments and secret agents, is it? No, it's not. This shift impacts every level of society. Absolutely. Think about the implications for business. Okay. Imagine high stakes negotiations taking place in private estates with no electronic devices allowed wow. or sensitive corporate strategies being shared through carefully vetted networks of trusted individuals okay. relying on personal relationships and oaths of secrecy instead of digital security protocols. It's almost like a return to the era of guilds and secret societies Yeah, where trust and loyalty are paramount. Right. It makes you wonder if we'll see a resurgence of these kinds of organizations in the quantum age. It's certainly a possibility. Yeah. After all, when digital trust evaporates, mm -hmm. people naturally seek alternative ways to build and maintain trust. Right. And throughout history, secret societies and clandestine networks have often filled that void. It's fascinating to consider how this shift might reshape our social landscape. Huh? Will we see a decline in online interactions mm -hmm. and a resurgence of face-to-face -face gatherings? And maybe. Will physical spaces like libraries, cafes, and even parks become hubs for discrete information exchange. These are questions that will unfold in the years to come. But one thing is certain. The quantum apocalypse is a catalyst for profound change. Hmm. It forces us to reevaluate not just our relationship with technology, hmm. but also our fundamental understanding of privacy trust and the very nature of human interaction. So as we wrap up our deep dive into the quantum apocalypse, right. we're left with a sense of both trepidation and possibility. Yeah. It's a world where the old rules are being rewritten and the future is full of uncertainty. It is. But it's also a world where human ingenuity, adaptability, and the enduring power of secrets might just hold the key to navigating the challenges ahead. It's a world where those who understand the subtle art of discretion, yeah. who can cultivate trust and navigate the complexities of human interaction, right. will hold a distinct advantage. And as we step into this uncharted territory, it's important to remember that the quantum apocalypse is not just a technological event. Yeah. It's a human story full of both peril and potential. Thanks for joining us on this journey, everyone. Yes, thank you. It's been a fascinating, if somewhat unsettling, exploration of what happens when the digital world we've built comes crashing down. Mm. But remember, even in the face of a quantum apocalypse, human ingenuity and the power of connection 
can help us find our way forward. And as we navigate this new reality, yeah. it's important to stay curious, stay informed, uh -huh. and most importantly, stay connected. Yeah. Because in a world without secrets, the ability to build trust, discern truth from falsehood, and find meaning in human connection will be more crucial than ever before. Until next time, keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep diving deep.